Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be our next hockey video as we recap the tournament by the men's team Germany as they got eliminated by the Slovaks today. I'll be doing an individual game recap in a bit, but this is on the overall tournament as uh, Germany had a very, I would say, in the middle tournament because against Canada you didn't expect much against their loss five to one but played an immensely competitive game against Team USA only losing by one goal three to two that excuse me uh they fought the Americans uh down to the end in that game and it took Drew Camaso making some really key saves as Germany was able to put on 26 shots and have probably around 10 pretty good scoring chances, honestly, from watching that game. So they played U.S. really good. Canada, you didn't expect much there. Um, and then they obviously beat China and then fall to Slovakia 4 to nothing to a Slovakia team that themselves uh, was pretty solid uh, in this tournament, minus obviously their game against Team Finland. They didn't perform well, but then Slovakia was able to kill Lafia and then now takes down Germany who obviously just played a great game against the U.S., so that's a very good win for Slovakia. But for Germany, they played a poor game, lost for nothing. Again, we'll recap that game later. But for the overall tournament, I would say their grade is probably about a C, because you beat China, you're expected to beat China. You're not expected to beat um, Canada, you lose 5-1. to one. So that's fine, that's a wash. You're not expected to beat America, then you play a great game with America. So that brings your grade up. Otherwise, it probably would have been down at a day because you only beat a team you were expected to beat. And then you get wiped the floor from by Slovakia, who is a good team, obviously. Don't get me wrong. And I'll talk about that when I recap that that game by how Slovakia um, has played well in this tournament. They did beat uh, Lafia, obviously who's not a tough opponent to take down. They played, even though they lost 4-1 to to Sweden, they played significantly better in that game, more competitive than that Finland game. They lost, I believe it was 6-1, to one, uh, if I remember that score. Oh, 6-2, to two, excuse me. But uh, enough about the Slovaks. So I'll get on to them in a bit. Um, when it comes to... Excuse me. Had a lump in my throat. Uh, when it comes to the particular last game of the tournament, uh, here as I'm looking through, uh, as I said, Slovakia lost to Finland, um, do, 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 do. uh, do, 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 do. here we go, Germany, Germany, um, when it comes to this entire tournament, though, obviously, um, as this is loading against Team USA when they had their very good performance. They had a great performance by Austin Birkin. Austin Birkin, I'm not the best at pronouncing the German names, but Danny Austin Birkin, uh, their goaltender, played very well. He's a veteran, has been playing overseas 37. Sorry about that pause there. I couldn't get the thing to load, so sorry about that awkward pause. Um, Kunako, who's played well overseas here in the uh, minors more so than the NHL, but uh, he was able to get it done. And then when it came to Germany's other goal in this game, uh, I can't remember who potted it. Oh, it was Hager. Um, they were able to get it from Patrick Hager, who was, again, another overseas veteran uh, that was able to score for them. That was a very competitive game for Germany against Slovakia. Uh, they were not able to get anything going in their final game. Uh, th there was not much, uh, you could do, uh, Niederberger, uh, couldn't do anything, uh, when he was in, th there's not much he could have done in goal here, Rybor played a good game, uh, it's not like, it's not like he got, uh, shellacked by any stretch of the imagination, when you look at this game, uh, the shots on goal were 34 to 21, and the chances, in my opinion, were much more towards the Slovak. Uh, Germany just got beat in this game. They played USA really good. They beat China as we go back <clears throat> and uh, look at that game real quick when they were able to uh, take on a pretty good China team because they took guys from North America, of course, the dual nationality uh, ploy that they used, so to speak. Um, but they got a good play by Niederberger. Uh, Yurumi ended up playing really well. But in terms of Germany in this game, they were able to score early. Brandt was able to get a goal, and Holzer was able to get a goal. Um, former defenseman uh, Corby and Holzer, uh, who played over here, 
Um, so he was able to get a goal, and then we were they were able to get a goal by Marcel Brandt, uh, the veteran that plays overseas, 29 years old now. And then the third goal for Team Germany uh, in that game came in the second period, and that was by Dominic Cahoon, who of course has had success more at the HO level over here, finished with the Edmonton Oilers, and is now having some success overseas. Maybe eventually we'll make a North America return. Who knows? But all in all, again, sorry for that awkward pause that my phone wasn't loading to see. I couldn't remember off the top who scored all the goals, obviously, in the games that Germany was able to get W's in. I would say it's about a C rating. You beat China, who you were supposed to beat. You lost to Team USA, but in a great competitive battle, that brings your grade up. You lost to Canada, which was expected, but getting shellacked by the Slovaks, um, I would have say Slovakia was could have, if you wanted to, that was a game that you could have picked whatever way. Uh, you could have favored Slovakia. And if you did, then sure, but I don't think it was by a four-goal deficit. So I think that brings a great overall down in the end by losing 4 nothing to Slovakia. So I would say it's a C overall grade for the tournament by Germany, uh, who is now out of the tournament, had good play by Dominic Cahoon um, throughout the tournament, um, who was a fun guy to watch. Obviously had good play by guys like Kunako, who have been fun to watch over here, and other guys I aforementioned in the video. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. I hope you enjoyed this video reacting to Team Germany's tournament. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the hot.